Let me say at the outset how wonderful it is to be back in Michigan, our home state. <laughs> Betty and I are deeply grateful for this wonderful turnout in Flint. We've been here many, many times, and we're deeply appreciative of the warm reception and the help and assistance we've gotten from people in the Flint area over the years. And we are especially grateful for this tremendous turnout. And I ask you to help us on Tuesday. We must win in Michigan, and Flint is very important. Let me tell you why I think we ought to win. If you'll reflect just a bit back to August of 1974, when I took the oath of office as President of the United States, this country was having many, many troubles. There was a loss of confidence in the White House itself. We were on the brink of an economic recession, the worst in 40 years, and inflation was at 12% or higher. Our allies around the world, because of our domestic problems, were uncertain as to whether the United States had the will and the capability to meet its responsibility of leadership in the free world. Our adversaries around the world were uncertain as to whether we would continue one course of action or another. In the last 21 months, I think Jerry Ford has done a good job, and I want your help. Of course, I've had a lot of help from First Mama, too. But let's take a look at where we are today. In the first place, because of my openness, my candor, and my proven integrity, the American people know that they have a reason to have the feeling of confidence in the White House and the President of the United States. This administration has achieved the peace that we have today because of our military capability and our diplomatic skill. And we have the capability militarily and otherwise to maintain that peace in the future, and we're going to do so. Let me remind uh, all of you that for the first time in 20 years, a president can either seek re-election or seek election and say that this country is at peace. And I can say to you without any hesitation or reservation, that we do have the capability today, we'll have it tomorrow, to maintain that peace. And with this administration for the next four years, we will. Let's take a look at the economy. I know Michigan's had a tough time in the last 12 months. We've had difficult times around the United States, but I inherited the situation. Where do we stand as far as inflation is concerned? When I became your president, it was 12% or higher. For the first three months of 1976, the rate of inflation has been reduced to 3% or less. That's progress, and we're going to make more of it in the future. A year ago today, we were having serious unemployment problems, and we still have them in some areas of our country, including the state of Michigan. But in the last 12 months, we have added 3,300,000 jobs in the United States. We have 87,400,000 people gainfully employed in all-time record. Unemployment is going down and employment is going up, and we're going to keep those trends going with my policies. As a matter of fact, everything that's supposed to be going down is going down, and everything that's supposed to be going up is going up. 
And one final comment. This administration has taken the position from the very day that I took the oath of office. We will promise no more than we can deliver. And we will deliver everything we promise. That's a good program, and I want you to support it. With your help on Tuesday, we can send a message across the whole United States. And if you give me the support that I think this record deserves, I promise you that in the next four years, I will not let you down. I will continue the good job that we've done for the last 21 months. Thank you for your help.